This is great. I love how we're playing. Okay, offensively, we're getting great looks. Keep shooting them. Keep attacking. Those finishes are going to fall. It's a long game. We're getting wide open threes because we're moving the ball. Stick with it. Stay connected. Stay locked in on the game plan. Don't give up the 50-50 balls. Just because something happens, get the momentum plays back. Get out and transition. Make life a little easier. Memphis on a 14-2 run, and now it is a uh, run of 16 to two that three right there brooks a 26 footer bain gets the assist memphis has come back from 14 down angle three cans it from outside and utah just like that back up again by two how about the, the confidence eye to eye look from 36 year old head coach taylor jenkins to his young squad like he's been here again under that popovich tree is dylan brooks now offensively we know what he does at the defensive end, but is starting to take this game over offensively for the Memphis Grizzlies. Conley picks up his first foul. Brooks was fouled on the play. We've had 11 lead changes, a 17-2 Memphis run over three and a half minutes. Got them back in this one. The Jazz had missed 11 of 14 during that stretch. And we've got 2-10 to play here in the first half in a one-point game. Tonight, the NBA playoffs on TNT. Brought to you by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. And by the all-new Carnival MPV from Kia. The official automotive partner of the NBA. And they get it on the miss. Here they go. Brooks with the spin. Court screws in. No call made. Bodies on the floor. And the other way with Gobert in the lead. Out they go. O'Neal three. Inside, Gobert tries to keep it alive. Jousting with Alan Junis and picked up by Brooks. And the other way they come with Morant. Bain, corner three, got it. The number one rookie three-point shooter in the NBA. Out of TCU, Desmond Bain drills one and gives the Grizzlies a two-point lead. Well, one thing that Memphis has done over the last six minutes, they've only allowed one shot attempt for the Jazz. Conley three, that's no good. It's picked up by Gobert, four of 13 threes for Utah, four of 14 with another miss, and picked up by Bain, here comes Morant. Morant has got six and three of eight. 11 for Anderson, 15 for Brooks, who averages 17 a game. Shifting inside, clever move, catching defenders, wow. and puts it up and through. Beautiful use of that side screen and roll, but just a nifty play off the glass there by Morant. Morant's got eight. Conley with Brooks on him. And a foul as Conley hits the deck. He said, listen, man, I, I'm 33. I can't be... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get emotional. I know, you got to keep it in vain. The keep it in check, control, yes. The fourth-year veteran, Dylan Brooks. But I like him a little bit loco. I do. I, li I love players like this. Give it to me. You love to play with them, and you give them an extra leash here. A little bit of a hard foul here. It's a tough screen there by Gobert as well. Was. Gobert, though, is so great setting those screens. They play them all over the floor. Conley at the line for the Utah Jazz, and the foul on Brooks is his second. The bench of the... Memphis Grizzlies has uh, so far staggered just a bit, just five points, and Bain has put in all five. There is the bench, 13 points for the Utah Jazz. The bench has been lacking of late, the number six scoring bench of Memphis in the regular season. And these are play-in games, and uh, again tonight, only five points so far. They're going to need more of that as they go along. Grayson Allen is in. He'll drive inside on Bogdanovich. Glancing off him. Tapped up and in. Valanciunas gets the two and the lead is four. And isn't that what we talked about at the Open? If Gobert is going to help on every single drive, Valanciunas can burn the Jazz on the offensive glass. What a second quarter for Memphis. Here they go now with a feed outside. It's Royce O'Neal screaming with a move inside. He took it and lost it. Confidence is growing. Absolute confidence is growing with this young, second youngest team in the league. Alan Junis had that block, and here they go with a four-point lead. 
It's Morant bumping into Conley. There's a shove, and there's the foul as he plummets his way into the veteran guard, and Conley will pick up the foul, the second on him. This is one, one area Morant's going to have to improve on. He's got to hurt him when he goes to the free throw line. So far, the Utah Jazz have only gone four of 21 shooting threes. There's a shot up and in from the line by Morant. One more coming his way. The lead is five. Four of 21. And this is uh, a team that makes at least 10 threes a game in every game this season. So one of the things they've prided themselves on is that they have been hitting the threes at the large volume. Conley will let one fly, flings it down court. Halftime is here, and Memphis leads by six. Utah led by 14. Then Memphis went on a 17-2 run over three and a half minutes, and Utah missed 11 of 14 shots. We're at halftime. The NBA playoffs on TNT first round is presented by State Farm. I'm making a change today. 